Hi everyone, welcome back to e-commerce mastery. Today we're diving into a topic that's essential for every Shopify business owner, and that is your social share preview. If you're not sure what that is or how to fix it, this tutorial is for you. By the way, if you haven't signed up for Shopify quite yet, we have an offer exclusive to our viewers where you can get a free trial in your first month for only a dollar. Let's jump right in. So first let's talk about why your social share preview is important. When someone shares a link to your store, whether that be through text or social sharing platforms like Facebook or Twitter, even Instagram. The title, image, and description that appears will be crucial in grabbing your customer's attention and bringing them onto your storefront. You want it to grab attention as it's basically mini advertisement for your brand. You also want it to look professional and provide value for your potential customers. They need to know what you're selling and why they should should purchase your product. Adding your social share preview is actually very simple if you just know where to go. Many Shopify beginners are not even aware that this is something they should be editing within their storefront and they don't know where to go to make these changes. So when you log into your Shopify dashboard, you're going to want to go down on the left hand side of the screen and click online store. From here, you're going to go down and click preferences. You will find all the details for your social sharing preview. You're going to want to add in a homepage title. Make sure to include keywords for your brand, but also make it clear and concise. For the purpose of this video, I will be adding the homepage title, YouTube, demos, and tutorials. Next, you're going to want to edit your description. This is going to be important as search platforms and social media platforms will use this information to understand what your brand is about. You will be able to get better ranking on search engines like Google, dependent on how how well you write this description. So keywords will be plenty and also be clear and concise. Write what kind of value that you are providing for your customers. Make it short and sweet. Make sure to also use all the characters you're allowed to. This will maximize the amount of keywords that you're able to use within your description. As you can see here, you have 320 characters available to you. Next up is your social sharing image preview. From here, you can add your image or if you already have an image up there, you can edit your image. You're going to want to stick to the recommended size of 1200 by 628 pixels. Sometimes brand owners will come to me and say, I only have my images in a square format. What do I do? At this point, I would direct you guys to go over to Canva, create a new design, go to custom size and add in the size that it's recommending. And from here, you can drop in any image that conveys you your brand message along with text if you'd like to create a social sharing preview image that's right for your brand. From here, you click save and your social sharing preview is done. Now, I'd also like to touch on a couple more items here, such as adding your social media links to your site and where and how you can do that. If you haven't done so yet, go to the online store, click customize, and on the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see a little gear button, which is your theme set settings. Click on that and you're going to look through these theme settings until you see social media. This is where you'll be able to drop in your social media links within your Shopify. This will appear on your footer across your website. You can add everything from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Vimeo. This truly helps bring your audience over to your social platforms and gain a following there as well. Once once you've edited these, go ahead and click save and there you have it. You've now successfully created your social preview page along with linking all your social media platforms to your website. Now, whenever someone shares a link to your page, they will be able to see a full description of your website along with an image that truly captures the essence of your brand. Your brand will look more polished and professional and attract the attention of future customers. Remember. Editing your social share preview page is just one small step in the bigger strategy of building your e-commerce business. And again, if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, please take advantage of our exclusive offer where you can get a free trial in your first month for just a dollar. Also, please check out the links below to our favorite e-commerce tools that every beginner needs to get their brand up and going. If you found this video helpful, please link and subscribe below so I can continue making you videos 
videos on Shopify. Thank you for watching and happy sharing.